guys. Looks like I need to back up a little bit to get everything in frame. So we actually did okay over the weekend. This is, you know, pretty normal, I feel like, for a Monday sale haul. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I will take it and run with it. We've got five on Etsy. No, we have one on Etsy, five on eBay. Back that right up. So this one, we'll start with best, I guess. This one was a really, really good sale. Um, it's a little bit wrinkly because it was stuffed in a box, but we bought this over the summer at a yard sale for flipping $3. Yeah, three bucks. I looked it up when we got in the car. I grabbed it because it's vintage. I had no idea what team it was, but it was vintage starter. Where did I see that? Maybe it's just on the tag. Vintage starter, which I always, you know, associate with good when you're reselling. It does have some stains, as you see, but those are listed. I got, got in the vehicle and looked it up and was like, ooh, Houston Oilers, vintage starter. These are selling for some really decent money. So I always start on the high end when it's something like that, and I listed it for 300 bucks. Um, I recently took it down and relisted it for 250 bucks. Just, you know, slightly. I got a really crappy offer come in the other day of $100. And I really, really wanted to just hit decline. But I didn't. I held my composure and I came back at $225. Uh, after doing a little bit of back and forth, he wasn't coming up much. I think he came up to like $130. Uh, I came back with $165 and told him, listen, this is it. Like, I, I'm not comfortable taking less than 165 which then I him hot around about for a while because I'm like, oh, maybe I should have just take in the 130 We really need the money right now. <laughs> so he just, I didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden last night, cha-ching, he bought it for $165. Thank you. <laughs> so that is a really, really good sale. Keep an eye out for those vintage starter jackets. They really are worth it. Then we're going to come over here to this Twisted t-shirt. Of course, this is not one of my pickups. This is definitely a rich pickup. I'm assuming this is some sort of band. I don't know the band. Um, but I do know that we sold the t-shirt for $17 plus the cost of shipping. I had to look because I had no idea. <laughs> so $17 there, $165 there. And then guess what? We sold another t-shirt. This one is not anything super fabulous, as you can tell, that's got the Hanes tag. This was a pickup when I was first trying to figure out clothing. I didn't really know what I was doing, but uh, it is Discraft. The back of it does say Discraft. And it's been just sitting for a very long time. We did finally sell it on eBay again for... $9.99 with free shipping, so we really haven't didn't make anything off this one. Uh, but I could use the money now, so that's helpful. Ten bucks, free shipping, and now we're going to move on to, like, tangible items. Things that aren't clothing. I was kind of shocked that we sold three items of clothing in one sitting. But this piece we also sold on eBay. I took a $19 offer. It's an art glass, like, vanity bottle. It is signed on the bottom, although I had a real hard time figuring out what the signature is and what it meant. I bought that, I think, for $3 at Salvation Army. It's a $19 offer, and it hasn't been listed all that long, so that was a pretty good sale there. And then check out my pie bird. I love my pie bird. We saved this pie bird saved in every way, shape, or form from the Goodwill bins. I cannot even believe that this thing was in there and that it wasn't broken. I am still completely shocked. It was wrapped in newspaper and it hadn't been destroyed yet. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't weigh much at all. I doubt we have very much money into it. Like I said, we got it from the Goodwill bins and they sell stuff by the pound. They're not worth a ton of money. I sold it for, I think, eight bucks plus the cost of shipping on eBay, if I am correct. Now I can't look because my phone's not functioning. 
yeah, $7.99 plus the cost of shipping. And last but not least is our glass mannequin head. Now this piece sold over on Etsy. We picked this up from Salvation Army, I believe, for seven or eight dollars. Uh, no damage. We picked two mannequin heads up, glass mannequin heads up that day. So that was a little weird. Uh, sold it for $45, so pretty good price on that. I almost said pretty good price on that head, but that would have been like super weird. Anyway, we're gonna get this stuff boxed up and then I guess our governor is going live at 11 o'clock, which is in a half an hour. People are saying lockdown, it's freaking me out a little bit. So I wanna get this stuff boxed up as quickly as possible and head out to the post office just in case it's a lockdown situation, which I don't know if people are just freaking out, but one of the, one of the, um, articles I read was actually a news outlet. So I really want to get this stuff boxed up as quickly as possible and get it to the post office before this whole thing goes down. Well, our government has, not our government, our governor, same thing, I guess, whatever, has issued a lockdown for Michigan starting with midnight tonight. So I really don't know what that means for our business right now. It, it's scaring me to tell you the truth. Uh, we did sell a couple more things, so while we're out, Keegan has an orthodontist appointment today. Uh, he has to get his spacers removed because he can't have any work done right now, and they don't want the spacers to fall out or move into his gum line. So for safety reasons, he has to get them removed. He's going to have to go through that all over again. I'm so sorry for him. But we did sell these two ornaments we got from the Goodwill bins, sold them to the same person. I think I had one listed for like eight bucks and one listed for 10 bucks, but I'm not entirely sure. Together, they sold for $17.98, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, we're gonna get these boxed up and uh, ship them out. We are still gonna do the garbage route tonight because it might be our last chance. I don't know how long we're gonna be on lockdown for, or how this is going to affect us long term, but we're gonna take care of first things first and uh, next things next. Well, all our trip to the bins, hoarding CDs might pay off right before we go on lockdown, which is somebody that is supposed to be here pretty soon to come sift through CDs. $3 each or two for five, correct? Yes. Whew, crush fingers for us. First sale yielded $25 in CDs. Good thing is we have another person on their way right now to come look at CDs. And second transaction was pretty freaking good too. $40 in CDs and I think we're gearing up to go garbage picking. Trucks unloaded from yesterday, it's time to go. First pickup, some of it is possibly a little bit on this. This looks, maybe not. I don't know, but it's metal. And we'll grab it, we're gonna grab it regardless. Not sure that was worth it. What a pain. Super not trying to be picky when it comes to scrap right now, cause uh, when it comes down to it, we don't have to find a buyer. Small little pile of stuff. I don't really want this desk. We can scrap the microwave and then check out this piece. That piece makes our trip. What is this? It's soggy and it needs to come out of here. It's a beanbag chair. I got it out, but not without <laughs> dispersing the sog. We're definitely taking that though. Some possibly semi-crappy speakers. And what looks to be a boombox of sorts. And that's pretty janky. Looks like it's just gonna be scrap, but that's okay. We'll scrap it. I'm actually really surprised he's taking those, but uh, I guess I guess we are taking them. Might be grabbing something for me. I need more of these bins for the bus. I can't tell if those are the right size though. Looks like I'm only taking one because the other two are full. I was informed that to the scrap yards, although yes, in Canada are closing. Not sure, 
but uh, it's very likely that the same thing is happening here as of tomorrow, but I'm not entirely certain. We definitely have an inspirational wall hanging. Today is the day. Something, 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 something. Some possibly nice boots. Take those, we'll look at them later. Not too bad for a Monday. So we got the speakers, we got the uh, inspirational wall hanging. I kinda wanna know what these boots look like, but I don't want them flopping around in our gross truck. But they seem like, I mean, they seem pretty nice. Got some scrap. I'm gonna test that when I get home. If it's the same size as the other bins that I'm using for the bus, I'm keeping it. If it's not, I'll end up using it for donation stuff or selling it or something. That thing on top does not want to stay down, so that piece is unfortunately just scrap. But then my favorite piece is that vintage bench with the storage in it. I'll probably paint that. It's a uh, it's kind of nicked up. It's like old knotty pine, but it's got awesome lines. So I'm definitely going to paint that piece. And since we're on lockdown as of midnight tonight, I'll have time to do so. Also got some scrap metal, but I think that the scrapyard's probably closed as of midnight tonight too. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for hanging out with us again today, guys. And we will do it again soon. Later.